We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day, lo. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Grim. Sits in a room in a small hotel in Chongqing, China. She points an ugly-looking gun at her visitor, a certain General Chang, and bids him remain seated if he values his life. In a nearby chair sits April Kane, frightened, confused, and bewildered. Meanwhile, Terry Lee and Pat Ryan and Connie are speeding toward Chung King, and we'll join them in just a minute. But say, Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Pineapple Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. If there's one kid I feel sorry for, it's the boy or girl who forgets to send for his telescope. Why, when I think what that kid's missing, the thrills and fun and the excitement, it's enough to make me really feel bad. You see, this telescope is something mighty special. It actually has eight exciting features. It shows you how to work a secret Chinese code, and the Morse code, too, and how to flash messages at night. There are games on this telescope, a treasure hunt game with a special playing board, and a crazy picture game that you'll sure have fun with and put you in stitches. But all these things are just extra features. They're plenty exciting, all right, but the real payoff is this. This Terry scope is the exact duplicate of the one Terry invented and put together in the show. You remember when he did it. He got some pieces of mirror from Burma and April and some cardboard from Connie and made a Terry scope. And you know what this Terry scope has meant to our friends and their adventures. Boy, they sure got out of some mighty hot places with its help. Well, now, naturally, anybody would be keen to have a Terry scope like that. One that lets them see around corners and way up over their heads. And that's exactly what you can have for just one dime and two Libby's labels. Yes, that's actually the offer that Libby is making. For a limited time only, you can get a Terry scope for just ten cents and two Libby's labels. Sounds like a bargain, doesn't it? And believe me, it is. So get your two Libby's labels right away. One from Libby's tomato juice and one from Libby's pineapple juice. Print your full name, age, and address on the back of one and then mail them along with a dime to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. It's an easy address to remember. Just Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Libby's is spelled L-I-B-B-Y-S. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if those labels you need were in your house already. You'd probably ask your mother to get the delicious Libby's tomato juice and Hawaiian pineapple juice that we told you about on this program. And she may very well have some in the pantry. So go look right after the show, and if the cans of juices aren't there, see if you can't run out and buy some, and send for your Terry scope at once. Mail your labels and dime with your full name and address to Terry, care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. And now, Terry and the Pirates. <laughs> While Burma holds General Chang at bay in the hotel room, let's join Terry and Pat and Connie. They are headed toward the Chungking Airport. Beside Terry is the precious radio, the amazing new portable transmitter which has caused so much trouble. Terry clutches his homemade telescope in one hand as he says, Golly, Pat, I wish this telescope could see three miles ahead. Well, you can signal three miles ahead if you could flash a light in through the mirror. I mean, I wish I knew what was going on in Chung King. And if April's all right in Burma. Gee, I'm dude. Well, we'll be at the airport in a few minutes. If dude's plane is there, then we'll find him. I wish we could hide this radio gadget in some safe place. 
by carrying dynamite around to have it with me. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll get to Hennick. He'll take us to the Army headquarters. I want to see General Chang. Who's General Chang? Well, he's the fellow who knows Jude and wants to buy the radio invention. There. That must be the airport, Pat. Yeah, that's it. I'm glad to get that Chinese mountain and Hutong behind me. Chongqing is a paradise beside Hutong. Well, I hope Jude's here and the girls are safe. They may not even recognize us, Terry. Now, take a good look at me. How do I look? <laughs> you look like you've been sleeping in a ditch. You haven't shaved, and you have a black eye from that fight with steel, and... and I feel just like I look. Yeah, with a shave and a bath, and 40 hours of sleep will fix all that. You could do a little soap and water yourself, and it's for Connie. Say, is he still in the back seat? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, Connie's a mess, too. But he's already catching up on his sleep. Well, there's the gates, even the airfield. Hey, Pat, look, that fellow coming out, he's something like a calf in a prairie fire. It's Jude Hennick. What's he running for? Hiya, dude! Uh, he can't hear you. Honk the horn. I'll swing over and get as close to him as I can. There he comes. I have to run him down. Hiya, dude. Where's the fire? You get things for speed. Hey, come here, Pat. I thought I got a good shot. Well, as I let them breathe, it's Pat and Terry. Yeah, and Connie. Hiya, dude. Oh, bless, bless. Where'd you just come from? Who's home? Where'd you get the snort wagon? Oh, it's a long story. I'll tell you about my next birthday party. Well, we got the radio transmitter, dude. Got it right here with... Yeah, and, and... Hey, do you want to see a thing I built called the Cherry Scope? It's a... Oh, yeah, you saw it back in New Tom when we were locked uh, in. Later, later. Just now, I'm on my way to interview some trouble. What's up? I don't know exactly. I called the hotel room where Burma and April are staying. Burma gave me a crazy line of talk, and from what I can make out, she wants me to act like a Marine and get to the room, but... but... Why, what could the trouble be? Couldn't be over the invention. We got that right here in the car. Where's the hotel, dude? Yeah, just down the road, a quarter of a mile. Small place, about six stories, maybe less. Come on, pack this gas buggy over there by the airport tents, and let's go to the hotel. Look, uh, hop out, Terry. Yeah, okay. I'll run it over there. I'll leave Kai to watch the car. Be right with you. Think there's trouble, huh, dude? Yeah, it wasn't anything Burma said, but I always call their room every hour or so. Bunny used to say that if, if he ever answered the phone and didn't make sense, then that was my cue that something was wrong and to come a-running. Golly, what'll I do with this little box? Caused plenty of trouble, and here I am lugging it around under my arm like it was a loaf of bread. Yeah, we ought to get that to the Chinese Army headquarters as soon as... Yeah, I'd like General Chang to see it. So where do we see Chang? Well, I, I'll have to fly you and Pat there. No place for April and Burma, though. They can stay here in Kung King. Well, Jen, let's go. Say, I was just saying, Pat, we ought to get this transmitter out of our hands in a hurry. Now that we're clear of the dragon lady, let's get the general chance. All right, you are. As soon as we visit the girls and find out what's... I can't go- imagine what trouble they could be in. Now, what kind of a hotel is it, dude? The best in Kung King at the moment, which is the worst. This city isn't as up-to-date as Chicago or Kansas City. I'm yeah, just wondering... There's no use advertising our arrival here. I mean, let's not walk into the hotel lobby with a band and colors flying. Yes, best, best you two gents would attract attention anywhere. <laughs> look like a couple of Robinson Crusoe's. Terry isn't so bad. He hasn't any whiskers. But, Pat, you look like the hermit of the mountain. Yeah, I know. That's why I say maybe Terry and I ought to stay in the background if you find out what goes on up in the room. Listen, the dragon lady has cows in this town. I'm not taking any chances. There's a back alley entrance to the hotel, I made sure of that, uh-huh. and a half-hearted fire escape that leads to the road. Now, here's what we'll do, Pat. You wait downstairs with the invention, and Terry and I will go up the fire escape. I think that's the best plan, dude. Uh, hey, this is sure a long climb. Yeah. What floor is there room on, dude? The top floor. Mine's just across the hall. Well, I got my telescope with me. Good. It'll come in handy. How can you tell which room is which? Yeah, as soon as we get up this ladder on the roof, I'll... Take it all right? Yeah. We should have stopped to see if anybody was in the hall on the top floor. Somebody outside the girls' room. Yeah, I took care of that little detail. There were two likely-looking lads in uniform loafing near the front stairs. Hey, now, what do you suppose... I know as much as you do, Terry. Come along, this way. Watch the sense. Now then, it's the window just below us. I lined it up with that flagpole across the way. Oh, it's going to be very easy to bend over and look down into the room. Yeah? What about that periscope? Oh, yeah. Here it is. Now look, 
All you have to do... I know, I know. I used it before. If you can look up over something with it, you ought to be able to look down under, too. Sure. That's what I did when I looked through the hole in the floor back there in the tongue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind the past. Let's worry about the future. Now then, you're lighter than I am. You slide out close to the edge and start looking through the mirror. I'll sit here and hold your feet. You all set? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Take a look. I got your feet tight. You see anything? Wait a second. Gotta get this thing adjusted. Yeah. Yeah, I can see in the window now. I can see April and Burma. Burma's got a gun. She's sitting there pointing at somebody. It's a man in a soldier's uniform. Soldier? I don't get it. Better let me take a look, Terry. <laughs> okay. The man looks like an officer or something, but... Why is she holding a gun on him? Why would an officer visit Burma and April? Hey, you think you can hold me? You can sit on my feet with my legs, and I can bend down and get a good look at what this Terry's got. Yeah, I'll try. Well, no, don't just try it. Beth, Beth, you let me slip. It's six floors down to that street. Okay, dude. I can hold you. It's an officer, all right. Chinese Army. General's uniform. I'd say, but... Hey, I never saw him before. He made a phone enough to make a deal with April. You know, for the invention. Hold me up, Terry. Hey, I know most of the big boys in the army, but I've never seen that chap before. Say, do you suppose that fellow in there with Burma and April was one of the Dragon Lady's men? Well, if he is, then Burma is suspicious. Well, why would she be holding a gun on him? Yeah, I've seen enough of this telescope. Come on, I know what we'll do. What? Break the door down to the girl's room? No, no, we'll talk to Burma on the phone again. We'll find a vacant room and get her a ring. That's the phone. Now then, we'll find out several things. No reason why Burma can't tell us just what, 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 what. Hello, I bet. Yeah, would you please bring room 611? No, no, no. 11, like in 12, only 11. Yeah. You know, Terry, there's something funny about this, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I keep thinking, dude. Oh, the operator room? Yeah, but... Yeah, that's funny. No answer? Yeah, it's the right room number. Why, we just looked through the window of that room not more than five minutes ago from the look. And now there's no answer. Come on, dude, this is the time for action. Let's go and see what's happened in that room. Something has happened in the Burma April room. But we won't find out what it is until later. In just a moment, I'll give you some inside information about things. But first, well, kids, any boy or girl who listens to this show sure ought to have a cherry scope. But, says you, can any boy or girl get a cherry scope? And the answer is yes. You yourself can have a telescope exactly like the one they're using in the show. It lets you look around corners, see way up over your head, shows you what's going on behind you. Nobody can put anything over on you when you've got a telescope. And boy, is it a wonder to help you see at parades and ball games and any place where there's a crowd. And say, this telescope is the keenest looking thing. It's lacquered all shiny red and black, and it's got pictures of Burma and Pat and other friends on it. And a great big Chinese dragon, too. But looks are only an extra. It's what the telescope does that's so exciting. Why, you can send three kinds of secret messages with it. You can play new games with it, too. And you'll sure get a kick out of the picture of old big stoop that's a feature of the telescope. Now, listen carefully while I tell you how to get it. It's yours for only ten cents and a label from Libby's tomato juice and one from Libby's pineapple juice. Print your full name and address on the back of one label and give your age. Then send them with your dime to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Don't put it off, kid. Send it right now. Send for that thrilling Terry scope. Well, if Jude Hennick was able to look into the room and see the Chinese visitor in there with April and Burma, and if he didn't recognize the man, then General Chang was not the real Chang at all. In that case, he is one of the dragon lady's ugly little pals. Well, we'll see about that on tomorrow's Transcribed Adventure. So join us for the Big Thrill of the Week. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast but the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just two seventy nine. dollars Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. ba da ba ba
Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.